Hey guys, welcome back to the Mill Cert Man channel. If you've been a follower for the channel for some time, you probably noticed that we've been kind of doing a series of our new Colt firearms junk. Um, we started off the series by looking at Colt's AR-15 lineup, comparing the LE-6920 series to the new CR-6920 series. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, we checked out a new 2023 Colt King Cobra and 357 Magnum to an older Colt 357 Magnum revolver made in the 70s. And now this is kind of going to be our final installment of that series. We're checking out Colt's semi-automatic handgun line, their 1911 series. And I recently acquired this one on trade from Dominion Outdoors, Kentucky, the awesome gun shop in my local area, area and we really appreciate them. Uh, they're an awesome gun shop, and if you guys want to interest in any firearms they may have, go check them out at www.dominionoutdoorshow.com or follow them on their Facebook page at Dominion Outdoors, Kentucky. Uh, they're awesome people, and they're very friendly and very, very fair when it comes to trades and giving you a good deal. So we really appreciate them. But without further ado, I thought we'd jump in and take a look at this 1911 pistol because I'm really excited to show you guys what you're getting with these and see if Colt 1911s are still the gold standard. Uh, you know, when you think of 1911, everyone automatically thinks Colt. But now there's so many different manufacturers like Ruger, Smith & Wesson, High Standard, Rock Island, and a new like newer budget companies like T-Sauce, and I already mentioned Rock Islands, and so many others, clones. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look and see if this is really worth our almost a $900 price tag. So we can see we got our government series, 5-inch barrel, national match, 45 ACP, series 70, which a lot of people like the series 70 internals because you get better trigger and you don't have all that safety mechanism on the inside. Blue frame, blue slide, model zero. When we see we've got our model zero, 1911 classic, that just means your standard government model. So without further ado, let's go ahead and box it here. Get your hards, hard shell, coat, clamshell box. The two latches on the front. Oh, that one's a little bit of a booger. You can see you get your safety manual or your uh, owner's manual here at the front. And you get a cable lock, but you guys know how to feel about those. Just throw them away. You got your NRA um, paperwork. And of course, your most important part, your 1911 pistol. Look at that, guys. Beautiful, just a standard, classic 1911 pistol. Now let's go ahead and get some of these tags off of it, and we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and check it out. Okay, now we've got our box out of the way, we can take a better look at this pistol. Now, before we get into it, let's go ahead and safety check it. We can see our magazine's clear. Box slide to the rear. We can see our empty finger check. Our pistol is clear. Now, we can look at it. It's a very, very handsome pistol to begin with. we got a nice blue finish on our sliding frame. we got beautiful rose rosewood grips. It looks very nice with the blue and very complements it very well. Of course, we've got our standard 7-round 45 ACP magazine that is marked... Colt 45 Auto, oh, I'm sorry, 8-round magazine. This is an 8-round magazine. Um, blued, finished, nothing special there. Just pretty standard. And that's what this pistol is, guys. It's a standard 1911 government model meant to be just like the USGI models uh, that were used during World War One and World War II. No, no really bells or whistles. But we'll go into some kind of features these new pistols have. Like I done mentioned, they do have Series 70 internals. You can see no safety plunger or detent in the slide there. So it is a series 70 internals, which a lot of people like because it gives you kind of a better trigger pull. We'll kind of ghost that trigger together. Very nice trigger pull on that. These new Sear and these new uh, Colt government models do come with national match barrels, which I've heard very, very good reports of these having very good accuracy. And they also come with the kind of a new roll mark. You can see we've got our just Colt automatic pistol 45. We've got our Prance and Pony there and government model on this side. And also on this side, you can see GV for government version and your serial number. We've got our short trigger, our little scallop there on the frame. We've got our serrated uh, slide stop. Our safety is going to be serrated too. And let's just go ahead and check that out. Very positive safety. No rattle on this firearm. And it seems to be very well made and tight. Our safety, everything works good there. Let's go ahead and check our play on our slide. No wiggle room much. We can see that our frame and slide match up very well. It's very smooth. Um, very little rattle, if not really any. We can see we got our beaver tail there. Just a standard government style hammer. Nothing special there. We see we got a flat mainspring chasm, which is plastic, I do believe. Uh, that's one of the complaint I do have about this particular firearm is Colt uses plastic mainspring housings, which I'm not a fan of, but if you don't like it, it's a $30 repl replacement part from Wilson Combat, or you can probably find a metal Colt OEM one on eBay somewhere and just fix that. Uh, it kind of sucks they don't include that little cheap, but I digress. Uh, no front strap, no um, serrations on the front strap. We do have a serrated front short trigger, which we done talked about, and 
We do have kind of more raised sights than your standard GI sights. This is kind of more of a more obvious three dot sight. There's no dots, but this is kind of a raised. Just you can pick up a better sight picture of this than you would your standard real small GI sights, which I really like. Uh, kind of keeping it a classic look by giving you a, a better sight sighting system to be able to use this to for more accurate shooting and. If you needed to, you could put some kind of paint on there. And obviously they're dovetailed in, so if you actually want to change that, you could. I'm not so sure on your front sight what you could do there. You might be able to replace that. Uh, but you definitely can dodge these out for something else. But yeah, it appears to be a very well-made pistol. Um, I mean, like I've been checking it out and looking it over. Um, every, all the internals seem to be finished well. You can see we got some brass there from it being test fired in the factory. I don't see anything sticking out in the chamber. No rough machining marks. We can see our our feed ramp there well, we've got a little bit of copper on it does not have a polished feed ramp so um a lot of not some of the budget more budget oriented 1911 manufacturers do have a polished feed ramp but we still see our feed ramp right there in our, our chamber um it seems like a very nice firearm guys i really don't have any complaints there it just seems like a overall well-made pistol um like i said no no fancy bells and whistles it's a standard gi government model um and so if you're looking for one of those and you want a Colt, you know, um, you know, it's just pretty nice to standard, you know, nothing, nothing crazy, but definitely gets the job done. And obviously having a Colt 1911 is the best is the, they were, the, they were the manufacturer of it when the first pistol was first designed by John Moses Brown. And, and uh, it just means something to have an actual Colt made 1911. And I really like this firearm and I'm looking forward to getting it on the range and trying it out. Uh, my views could change a whole lot on this pistol. Um, like I said, this come from my own home trading and own boot swapping. So uh, I do not have any like bias opinion. Colt didn't send this to me, so they're not paying me to say any of this. So if I go to the range and it's just an absolute turd, then <laughs> you'll get a range report by me saying so. But I look forward to do good. It just seems very well made. I just want to do this quick unboxing to show you guys what these new 2024 government models are looking like. I really like the new roll mark. The uh, finish looks nice, no scratches, nothing just nothing standing out to me. All of our all of our parts seem well made, no scratching there. Everything's fitting together very, very nice. Like I said, uh, we don't have heard of any slide play from side to side. Our safety is very positive. No, no complaints there. It's very tactile and positive, which I really like. Um, our slide stop engages well and we can drop it slide very easy. Um, no complaints there at all. Just a very, very nice overall handgun, and I'm very excited to try it out and get some range time behind it. Guys, if you liked the video and you like what you see on the Millsur main channel, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, also, share my content. It helps us out what we do here. I look forward to getting this on the range and showing you guys and getting your range report. Stay tuned on here on the Millsur channel for that. Uh, stay tuned, and God bless.